All right, you guys, so <clears throat> I'm currently packing to get ready for work. I'm actually gonna be driving two hours to get to work tonight, which I'm actually really not super excited about. I'm actually really not excited about the drive. All right, you guys, I'm packing up my dance bag. I've been putting all my outfits on this side of my bag and then everything else pretty much on this side of my bag, including my shoes. All right, you guys, so I am currently headed to Florence. Don't ask me why I'm holding a stuffed animal because if you know, you know, and some of y'all know, so I'm gonna just leave it at that. No, this is a not a dance vlog because you guys are not going to see me inside of the club, but right now I'm just currently getting ready to leave out the house. I haven't really eaten anything, so I don't know, like, should I eat something before I leave? Or no. Look at my shoes. Found them. The frozen raspberries are interesting, but honestly, I was so hungry that I think that it's actually low key kind of good. And yogurt always hits, so. I was gonna say, where's my whip? I always forget where I'm parked because our apartment don't have like set apartment spaces. I mean, parking spaces, which kind of sucks. I'm actually thinking about getting a garage just because when I get home, there's never, never a spot. Damn it, why didn't I take all this stuff out of my car? Damn, I have a whole bunch of shit in my car. I'm supposed to take out. Oh well. I was trying not to, um, vlog inside as much because my roommate is asleep but i'm in the car there's a whole bunch of stuff in the car that i was supposed to take out but it's too late now because i'm already in the car <laughs> all right i'm pretty sure i have everything i'm definitely going to need to stop at the gas station before i continue Basically, you guys, this is not a stripper vlog, but I am going to Florence because I am dancing tonight. But this is not a stripper vlog. Um, I'm just really kind of vlogging right now. Is this water hot? Mmm. It's boiling. It's boiling hot. Which means all the water bottles in the back of my car are boiling hot. Yeah, I'm really excited about this channel, you guys. I was seeing like a few more people subscribe yesterday just got me really excited I'm just really mm, happy because I really truly feel like I can be myself on this channel like and it really have nothing to do with like oh I can dress this way now or I can you know wear my I don't have to do my hair or I don't have to look glam it's not that it's really just the fact that I really can say exactly how I feel on on this new channel but make sure if you guys are coming from my other channel that you're subscribing to this channel and you're turning on the post notifications so that if you do want to see more of an inside look on stuff that's not dancing, then this is going to be the channel for that. I feel like it's also going to be a channel where I'm ranting a lot. Do I have something on my face? It looks like I had something on my, on my face, but it's also going to be a channel where I'm ranting a lot about stuff and just my experience with certain stuff certain things and i wanted to talk about 
how I've been feeling about my career and just I wanted to talk about that in general because when I looked back I realized I've been stripping since 2017 which means I've been stripping for five years which is literally half a decade and it's crazy to think about that I've been dancing for five years um when I was first thinking about it I was thinking about how I, I was kind of feeling a little shameful about it because I was like damn I've been dancing for five years now like that's a really long time to be dancing in my head in my head that's how I feel some people may be like that's not a long time some people may be like damn bitch what the fuck are you doing but that's why I make this video because that's how I've been feeling lately about me dancing and <clears throat> The thing about it is I'm really just now starting to feel in my journey of being a, a stripper that I'm like I've gotten so much better than when I started like I'm, I dance way better I make more money I just feel a lot more confident about myself and walking into the club and really making money that it just does not feel right to just walk away from it right now and <clears throat> Also, it's really been helping me as far as really keeping me afloat and being that extra, that extra source of income. So I really want this to be my last year dancing, but at the same time, I'm like just starting to get to the point where I'm really, really feeling confident about being a dancer. And it's like, it kind of has me torn sometimes. So people ask me, like, oh, well, what are your other goals? Like, do you have any other goals? Like, obviously, you know you can't be a dancer forever, right? And I honestly, I hate when people say that to me because it's like, one, I don't even, I don't want to be a dancer for the rest of my life. Like, I have so many other hobbies, passions, and things that I want to pursue. YouTube is one of them, but I've also wanted to go to culinary school. Um, there's been so many other things lately that I've just been interested in and I just hate when people say oh you know you can't be a dancer forever right because it's like obviously I want to do other things and obviously I'm using dancing as a stepping stone to be able to do other things I know that but I don't have to explain that to anybody but what I'm saying is I just realized damn like you've been dancing for five years and like you know what really do you have to show for it other than your growth as a person? Like, does that even count? I don't know. So it's just been this place. It's, it's just been this place that I've been where I've been torn. Um, but again, it's not something that hinders me from like actually actually working or actually going out here and working I don't know I just have a bunch of different I just have a bunch of different goals and a bunch of different stuff that I want to do but like lately I've just been feeling very stagnant and I think I got kind of comfortable where I was for a little bit but lately I've just been having this push that's like let's just Let's just do better like let's just keep going let's just keep keep moving keep pushing <clears throat> because I know I'm not gonna be a dancer forever like I know that because I know what I'm I know the vision that I have and I know what I'm putting in place to be able to get out of it I don't know about everybody else I don't know what everybody else's thoughts are about how long they want to be dancing I don't know really I don't even know how long everybody I know the strip club has been dancing like I don't it could be girls who have already been there for 10 15 plus years and I'm just stressing way too much about it but like when you think about it and you look back you just be like damn time goes by really fast I feel like that's one of the downsides of being a dancer is if you're really not <clears throat> paying attention if you're really not focused and you really do lose sight of everything that you 
originally planned on doing and, and you originally vision, envisioned yourself doing, then you, time definitely goes by really fast. Like you can definitely get lost in the sauce. Like time, because time definitely be going by very fast. Like I be thinking about it like, damn, when you started dancing, you literally, Jakai was literally one years old. So you've been dancing for, well, yeah, four or five plus years. I've been dancing for four years. This will be my fifth year dancing. So, I mean, yeah, it's still practically been... <clears throat> it's still practically been five years and, and counting. But when people ask me when do I plan on quitting, I always do tell them that this it does, is... Like, my, my plan is this is my last year dancing. And I really would like to buy a house next year in Atlanta. So that's my plan, but at the end of the day... As we've seen watching my channel a lot of things that I say and a lot of things that I plan don't happen sometimes because God has a different plan or a different vision for me so right now I'm really just going along with the flow but I also am trying to make a plan and if it looks like I'm looking at myself you guys I am because the vision finder is all the way over not the vision finder the camera is all the way over here so I'm like kind of looking this way also trying to focus on the room. I don't know you guys it's just it's been a journey and also when I started dancing I really feel like I started in the wrong place like obviously you have to start from somewhere and everybody does start from somewhere but when I when I feel like when I first auditioned and became a dancer I wasn't meant to be dancing in the area that I've been dancing at like for the sole purpose that the area doesn't there's not that much money um, there's not that much talent, there's not that much going on, and there's just a lot of extra bullshit that comes along with the clubs in the area that I'm at, like, a lot of extra bullshit, so I ended up, like, going to a different area to start dancing, and I've really been feeling, like, a lot better about the area that I'm dancing in, I've been making more money, I've been, a, been able to really be a lot more confident about myself and my body, because when you go to a club where it's all like, <clears throat> when you go to a club where it's all like BBL dancers, or you know everybody has a certain type of look, which is not necessarily, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but it can be hard for a different girl who has a different type of look who is completely different to make money when all the girls are looking a lot more mainstream. I guess is the word. So yeah, I definitely feel like I'm supposed to just uh, broaden my horizons. I don't feel like I'm necessarily supposed to quit right now, but I'm also working towards that, if that makes sense. Like I'm working towards building a better life for me and Jakai, and then, and then I'll get out. So one way y'all can help me do that is by subscribing to my channel and subscribing to my other channel. And I'm also going to be having a third channel, which will come later along the road, which I feel like if all goes well, that channel could go really, really well. And also just be, you know, supportive in general. Say something nice in the comments. That, that, like that type of stuff really helps me, you guys, because I read it. And it makes me feel like I'm actually doing all right, that I'm actually doing good, that I'm actually progressing. So when y'all leave positive comments, it always, it always helps me a lot. So I'm very appreciative for that. And when I say y'all, I mean the people who have came from my old channel because those are, I feel like most of the people who are supporting me right now. So. Yeah, but I'm about to get gas, you guys. All right, you guys, I definitely need a snack because I ate that yogurt, but I'm going to be hungry as fuck if I don't eat something else right now. And God knows if I'll be drinking tonight because it is summer and I do not have a kid right now. So, <laughs> guys, honestly, I just got the most unhealthiest snacks ever. Like, there was nothing healthy about my snack choices just now. I'm about to show you <laughs> literally nothing at all. Let me get gas first. 
Okay, you guys, my snack choices. Potty bites, pickles, some hard salami and cheese, Reese's peanut butter cups with potato chips, and a black cherry vanilla bang energy drink. And honestly, I'm about to go in. Like actually, I'm about to go in. Starting with these bad boys. Should I try one on camera? God, yes. Fuck yeah. <clears throat> Excuse my language. Yo, not this guy gonna talk about some damn as I walk past. And then don't say anything else after that. Like, please shut the fuck up and get on my face. I can't stand that shit. I really cannot. Like, that shit is on a whole level of annoying. That shit is on a whole nother level of fucking annoying. And not me having to use my passport as my ID everywhere because I cannot find my wallet. <sighs> my life is terrible. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm actually kidding you guys, seriously. Y'all, I literally got all those snacks just to get full off of eating the pickles. Um, now I just have those snacks. But I guess I can eat them once like, after I get to work and stuff, so. Also, my mouth is on fire because those pickles are actually spicy. Like, not just pretend spicy, actually fucking spicy. I can't explain to you guys. I just spit at the camera. I cannot explain to you guys how much my mouth is actually literally on fire. Like, and I love spicy food, but for some reason, though the hottie bites pickles are just so freaking spicy to me. But what was I saying? I was talking about how I feel like I've been dancing for a long time, and sometimes I feel like I feel shameful about that. But I never feel shameful about it because I'm doing it because I always because obviously I wouldn't continue doing it. I usually feel shameful about it because other people try to make me feel shameful about it. Obviously I let them make, I let them, I let them make me feel that way, but it's never a feeling that comes from my, it's never some, it's never a thought that comes from myself. It's always, it always comes from other people when they try to shame me for being a dancer. So I really just have to like roll with the punches and really just be like, I don't give a fuck. But yeah, that's really what I was trying to say with that, um, is that I just have been dancing for a long time, and sometimes it just be feeling like, damn.
Cause you a big stepper You did the work, you know your worth You are a slice of heaven Take a leash and take them back into the dog pound Remind that nigga that your house is not a campground Alright you guys, so currently I am at the strip club It is Tuesday night and I just got here. I drove two hours to get here. So I'm really hoping that pays off in the end. But yeah, I'm actually really, I'm actually procrastinating right now because I don't want to get out of my car. And I did end up bringing some snacks and stuff with me just in case I get hungry. But I don't even feel like eating them anymore. Like I'm just really procrastinating right now. But I'm about to go inside. Um, I'm about to lock up my car and go inside. Instead of procrastinating, just get it over with. I still need to put my lashes on and spray some lip gloss.